Live from Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Yeah. Welcome inside Hard Rock Stadium, everybody. Steve Goldstein, along with familiar big time names like former Hurricane Calais Campbell. In the second. Deceptive defense is going to make this, this, uh, this Miami Dolphin football fun to watch what he can do throughout the preseason as well as when the receiver. He's a guy that coaching. Very, he says he likes to be coached. The rookie tonight. Getting closer to kickoff, game number. Mike's got the sweatshirt, of course, going. He's out to the yellow and then the purple line at the 40 on the left side. Well, 35, there's all the players. We've got Mike Apple. What we're going to see throughout the season. It's going to be an ongoing thing to see how to defend. And here he is, the first round draft pick at Penix right off the bat. A lot of money tied up in that quarterback position to the Atlanta Falcons as a, as a rusher. And it's going to be a, it's going to be a good opportunity for him as, as well as every the safety spot. There's more than 1400 yards let all of college football oh this selling marina living now let's talk about what the players saw earlier today they were surprised with a newly renovated locker room stephen ross coming up big for the guys just to kick off the year even mike mcdaniel and the coaching staff got some new digs in there you know stephen ross was both the number one owner by the nflpa earlier this year Dolphins got straight A's across the board in that NFLPA report card. Looks like Mr. Ross and company hoping to defend that title this year with that new locker room to kick off the season. Man, did that look sweet. You're 100% right, Mike. Duke Riley makes the tackle on Washington there after a gain of a couple. Now, give us the idea, but we don't have the visual, <laughs> but how about those old Orange Bowl locker room days? Well, well, Anything I, I, like that? I won't go through the Orange Bowl because all it was was a hook on the wall, but our, our training <laughs> camp over it. Uh, it, uh, which is now St. Thomas University, Biscayne College back then was two by fours and chicken wire. I remember my first day <laughs> in camp, I, you know, I, I didn't have anywhere to hang my clothes. So, so after practice, I went to the equipment guy and I said, hey, Danny, I, I don't have anywhere to, to, to hang my clothes. He said, I'll take care of it. You'll, it'll be all set tomorrow when you come in. I'll let you go through this play here. Penix, short throw, complete that fumble. That ball is loose. And the Dolphins have jumped out of that midfield. Saran Neal with the recovery. And there's Anthony Weaver, his unit, gets the turnover early in preseason game number one. Saran Neal pays off in a big way early, coming from uh, Buffalo. He knew he was going to be a special teams guy for you, but makes a play here on the coverage. We're going to find out about Bo Camper's <laughs> blocker. The Dolphins take over at midfield. Neal, the strip, and the recovery. As you have the drive. Goodyear, more drift. We got Darren Jeff and Edwin up there in the blimp tonight. Appreciate it. The beautiful shots of Hard Rock Stadium. Dubbins get a turnover. Saran Neal making play. And now the Finns will start in midfield. It was Chris Blair. You saw there with the fumble. Rucci, undrafted free agent tight end in motion. Here's Thompson rolling. He's going to tuck it. He's got about four yards going out of bounds. So but let's finish up on that old <laughs> locker story that you got. So, so I, I, I talked to the equipment manager. I said, I, I'm, I'm throwing my clothes in the bottom of my locker. Can you help me out? Yeah, I'll, I'll help it out tomorrow. So I walked the next day, and there's a 10 pay nail nailed into the uh, two by four. Uh, and, and, <laughs> and, and, and so it was a little rusted. Uh, but at the end of the season, the, uh, they painted it. So, oh, okay. so it wasn't well. rusted anymore. But I hung my clothes out for 10 years oh, on that on. same nail. <laughs> Not quite like Mr. Ross's locker to the, the, today. No expense spared with the Miami <laughs> Dolphins now, that's for sure. The pitch here, Jeff Wilson has some room. Bendit crosses the 40 and he's got a first down. Get back to your morning routine. Enjoy the CBS News morning team to get you ready for your day. Betty, Keith, Lizette, and Austin are here for you. Weekday mornings on CBS Miami. Your friends. Look at that face mask of uh, Patrick Ball, the rookie. A hundred percent left tackle. All right. Dolphins keep it on the ground, and Wilson powers his way to a couple of yards. J.D. Bertrand, the rookie out of Notre Dame, a fifth-round pick, Flanna made the tackle. Yeah, there's a lot of concern about this Dolphin offensive line, especially interior in the interior. And they put a lot of work on it so far during training camp, but continue to do it. So far, early in this game, it's looking pretty good. Driscoll and 
uh, and Cotton on the other side of that run, that run, uh, that little, uh, little counter action run, and then that one, that left side of the, uh, the offensive line, looking pretty good early. Starters in camp. Eichenberg Jones at the at the guard positions. I say win not ready yet after yep. got hurt last year. Those players, none of them playing tonight. Little slip there from Wilson Jr. So he'll lose a yard or two. Take a closer look, Bo, at that offensive line. The big guys up front. It was decimated with injuries late in the season. Yeah, it was. Arms, you know, you're, you're, you're they're, they're kind of begging him along, hoping they can get more. more. I think he played 10 games last year. Eichenberg switched between offense, I mean, to center. In fact, he played all five positions across right. the line last year. Aaron Brewer is the guy they brought in as a center. Hopefully his hand's hurting him a little bit, and uh, but he'll be there. So I think that... that I think the middle is what you need to concentrate. I think the, the tackle positions are pretty well set, especially with uh, Patrick Paul and the way he's playing. Dolphins, number one offense in the league last year. Rushing yards, passing, total offense. Thompson over the middle, under pressure, and that goes incomplete. Keon Smith now down for Dolphins on that play. Is on the ground. Dolphins training staff has to come out. You know, got a little too much pressure on the outside. I see Lester Cotton there down on me. Mike McDaniel coming out to check on Smith. Yeah, he said. You know, the outside rusher came on the outside, just kind of hit him with that uh, in that knee area, and uh, didn't didn't look good. But uh, look, seen, uh, seen those things go either way. And hope for the best always. You know, these these games, Goldie, or it's, it's really the first time for them to play full speed in a game, e even with the joint practices that they had Wednesday, Thursday. I mean, they're going at it, but not at the level it is here. And, you know, sometimes when you're, you're having done much of that contact situation, these injuries occur early on. You kind of like to get a little, some teams get a little more contact and, and, and maybe get yourself, get your body kind of in tune, the slipping leg away, just doing little move things. You can avoid some of those things, but uh, you know they're gonna have to do it. Good thing he's walking off with, uh, with his own with his own power. It's nice to see. Yeah, that is great to see. You know, Smith started in the NFL back in 21 with both the Dolphins. Ironically, up the Falcons as well, the practice squad. So he's been here with the Dolphins for a few years. Got some playing time last season. So the Dolphins are gonna try a long field goal now. That ball was at the 40. So here's Jason Sanders. Last time we saw him booting long ones it was against the Cowboys yeah. late last season. He had game of his life putting the fins into the playoffs. This is a 58 yard attempt. Bailey to hold for Sanders. Jason Sanders with plenty of room. Oh, that's a boot right there. Good to see. Sanders dapping it up. He is money from 58 yards out. The Dolphins off the turtle, able to cash in for three.